Since 2K20 is about to drop, I can officially immortalize this VC glitch. This will pretty much work for the rest of 2K19. And I know a lot of people still will be on 2K19 when 2K20 drops. So the last thing I will do for y'all is put every part of the VC glitch in this video so y'all can run up y'all VC checks and get unlimited VC. Y'all be sure to like this video and hit that sub button because y'all know 2K20 is around the corner and y'all know plug season is upon us. So we gonna keep those VC glitches, badge glitches, and all the glitches we can possibly find coming. Hey, the beat go off? Hey. Hey, I up it, then my heat go off? Bang. I know it's been a minute since I posted a VC glitch for y'all, but it's only right if the beat go off and I'm going to keep y'all updated and I'm going to keep y'all posted, man. So y'all just stay tuned. If you need VC, whether it's for your my player, whether it's for my team, or you just want extra VC, be sure to like this video and hit that sub button. So me personally, I haven't done this VC glitch in a while, so I had to come back to it and see if it was still working. See if we can still get unlimited checks up to 10 my players, which means you can get 15,000 per my player. So you could essentially get 150,000 VC or more, depending on the approach you want to take. Now, let me slowly get started with y'all to show y'all how I go about the process. I'm going to explain from start to finish. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's been a minute since I've given y'all a full explanation. And I know a lot of y'all like me probably haven't done it in a while. And to a lot of people, it still might be new. And I want to let y'all know that this will never be patched. This will work until 2K20 is out. Now, me personally, what build you make it really doesn't matter that specifically. But I always make a center. I always make a, a max weight center, max height, max wingspan, max weight. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, archetype I just make a, po a pure post score because we know how toxic they can be with takeover so why not I'll only be using this build this player for VC and VC only you know what I'm saying I gotta make sure we can run it up because I know those my team packs are getting costly I know a lot of people are, are wanting to make new my players over the summer but they don't necessarily want to spend the VC at this point in, or time in the game or spend the money on VC so understand, I got y'all, and I'm going to look out for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Now, important step number one, negotiate your contract and choose a team. Now, you want to go to a bad team that's probably going to lose a lot of games or a really good team who's going to blow teams out. Now, me personally, I go with the Cavs because I know the Cavs is working. I know the Magic used to work a lot as well, too. But recently, I've been going with the Cavs. Now, one of the first very important steps is you want to negotiate it for zero minutes. Make sure you get zero minutes. Now, you can try to squeeze out as much VC as you can get out of the contracts, but you definitely need to be on zero minutes for this glitch to work. Otherwise, it will not work. Step number two. Once you log into your My Career, I would definitely advise you to change the minutes to 10 or 11 or 12. All of those have worked for me, but I often just go with 10 or 11 just because, I mean, maybe you have more luck with some or the other, but it's pretty based off of luck. Now, you want to get into your first game. Now, for my first game against the Toronto Raptors, I did not get subbed in. So, I go to my next game against the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, be sure to listen up. Once they sub you in, you want to act out to sim with VC. It must be in one of your first three games. You know what I'm saying? If you, get, if you don't get subbed into your first three games, the glitch might not work for you. But you'll be good as long as you're in the first three for sure. Now, as you can see, the score is 130 to 99. And now... I can ask to sim out with VC. After you sim out with VC, you'll be able to move on to the next step. Now the next step is very easy because all you have to do is sim some games. At this part, you pretty much have the glitch set up and good to go. Now of course, you're gonna have to go through some of your loading screens. Doesn't matter if you wanna call out the fans or whatever. So you wanna go to April 1st and sim all the way to April 1st. So if y'all already know how this glitch is rocking, it is really easy to do and it is the fastest way to stack up VC. It is legitimately the fastest way and like I said, I need a little bit of VC with myself right now. As you get closer to April 1st, you will see the notifications on the endorsement. It'll be like a yellow triangle start to come in, which means your endorsements are accumulating, which means you'll be able to go into there and get your national endorsement, which will let you choose between Gatorade or Foot Locker. Now, Keep in mind, Gatorade 
is for this um, the Gatorade Turbo Boost. The Foot Locker is for the BC. But we're going for the BC. So once we get our uh, national endorsement right there, make sure when you get the choice, you're not sleeping, you're not slacking. Because if you choose the wrong option, you may have to do it all over again or it'll automatically pick for you because it is time. So be sure to choose Foot Locker for the BC glitch. As you can see, you get 10 seconds to make a choice and it starts off on Gatorade. Trust me, this comes from experience and I have done that before. Now, once you have your endorsement, you can go to your next game. My next game is against the Phoenix Suns. It doesn't matter if you get in or you don't because this will allow you, after this game, you will be allowed to negotiate your contract, your Foot Locker endorsement by how much ever VC you want. Not only the first level, but the second level as well if you follow the steps correctly. And they're very easy steps, like I said, so I'm going to explain it to you so y'all can do this as quick as possible. Now, after your game, you're going to do your level one contract negotiation. Your level one contract negotiation does not matter. You can pretty much just spam A through it, accept whatever they offer because it does not matter we're looking for level two and once we get to the level two we're going to max out the vc to make the amount they can pay us out you know what i mean because this level one only goes to 2500 vc anyway so after that you go to the neighborhood you must go to the neighborhood before you get your second level contract negotiations now i will click on endorsements and as you can see i click on Foot Locker. i have my level two contract negotiations now here all you want to focus on is your vc Put up your money, your VC per event to 5,000. You can put everything else on zero because like I said, it does not matter. I will not be playing on this my player. A lot of y'all will not be playing on these my players. You'll be making many of these dummy accounts strictly for this VC endorsement to get your 15,000 VC every time and run it up all the way until 2K20 comes out for those new builds, for those new my team packs because I know a lot of y'all need that VC, man. So I got y'all. So once you get to this point here, and you get your level two contract negotiations of course you need to get put into one more game one more game and be able to ask to sim out now i did not get put into the kings game so that's why you see me jump from the kings to the warriors now of course the warriors are one of the better teams in the league the Cavs are not a very good team so you would expect the warriors to beat them by a lot and in my case it did happen now if for some reason you don't get put in this game just go to the next game until you get put in and after you get put in, you'll be allowed to pick up and view your endorsement and collect the checks and start the real part of the glitch. Now, this is pretty much just the glitch setup, if you didn't already know. But once you set the glitch up, it'll pretty much work forever. It'll work forever as long as you don't mess it up. You know what I'm saying? For as many of my players as you have. Now, as you can see, I go there, I have my Foot Locker endorsement. Close the app. You must close the app. Closing the app allows you to repeat the glitch without it putting you back into a basketball game. So it's a lot quicker, it's a lot faster process, and you can really take advantage of getting BC way faster than it happened to be loaded back into a basketball game and then collect your check every time. So once I load back into my career, you will see it will throw me back into the neighborhood instead of a game. Now I do wanna let y'all know that I am on Xbox, but this glitch works for PlayStation as well. And I will tell y'all the steps for PlayStation as well, but I'm definitely going to start off with Xbox first since that's the console that I am currently on. Now, you want to attend the event and this picture will pop up. Once this picture pops up, close it out by hitting B on Xbox or circle on PS4. And when these three dots go away, you'll be able to hit OK. Now, after you hit OK, as you can see there, you should hit the Xbox home button, go to manage games and add-ons, and then you should go to your save data. Now go to the account that you're currently playing on and delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere. I know I always emphasize that. But let me give y'all PS4 steps too. Every console from the cloud. PS4 guys go to application save data management. Then go to save data and system storage. Then you can choose between upload online storage if you have PlayStation Plus or copy to USB storage device. If you don't have PlayStation Plus, choose those first three files. Make sure you're choosing the right My Career file because you're going to want to upload those. If you're using PlayStation Plus, if you're on the drive, just select those three files and move forward with the process. Now we got to show them some love too. And now we're going to go back into My Career and repeat that two more times. This same exact step two more times. Same thing again. So, so far we've accumulated 5,000 on our BC check. Attend the event, close the picture out by hitting B on Xbox, circle on PS4. Once these three dots go away, you'll be able to hit OK. Once you hit OK, hit the Xbox home button, right? 
and then go to manage games and add-ons as you can see NBA 2k19 manage games and add-ons save data emphasis on go to your profile that you're playing on delete from console do not delete from everywhere delete from everywhere will delete it from the entire cloud you will lose your my player okay so after doing it twice that's 10,000 BC that you just accumulated that quick that easy you could do it up to three times every 24 hours per my player per my player that you have like I said so that's how you can get up to hundred and fifty thousand every 24 hours unless you just keep now you can't keep deleting my players and whatnot and keep repeating the process but after you do it a third time you will not be able to do it on that my player for another 24 hours once the three dots go away okay it's gonna pop up on the screen you already know go to manage games and add-ons from NBA 2k19 save data the same step three times in a row it doesn't matter there's not a time limit on it or anything so you don't have to rush it it doesn't have to be done at a perfect a specific time just whenever that okay is going load back up into the game now I've done it three times I shall be able to go to BC sports management and pick up 15,000 for that my player or every my player that you could do it on now if you need to see it be done on multiple my players just like this video and I will definitely show y'all that as well an even faster way to do it on multiple my players because you do not have to do one my player at a time you can do every my players and then pick up the check at one specific moment for all the my players you have to make it even faster now I go ahead I'm gonna run on over there to the VC sports management I'm gonna pick up my check and y'all gonna see for y'all selves if y'all didn't already know but y'all already know how legit I am man y'all know I don't come on here with the fugazi glitches every time I post a glitch it's going to be legitimate it's going to work and if you need VC, you know your time's not going to be wasted. So here we go, man. Y'all going to see I go in there. I'm going to pick it up. She going to hand me my 15000 exactly. And that's going to be the glitch, you know. And the best part is even if you have 10 and you max them out that day, if you want to keep creating new my players and repeating the glitch over and over and over, there's nothing from stopping you from doing that. So you can essentially go over 150000 per day if you just really want to grind out some VC for the quick the easy but as you can see there man that's a quick 15,000 once it's set up every day I could get on the game tomorrow 24 hours from now and get 15,000 just like that by opening up my endorsement because I still have my endorsement it's still there man it's still there but anyways man I know a lot of y'all show love on the last video, so I'm here to give y'all part two today, man. I'm going to show y'all how to really stack up those VC checks. Now, y'all be sure to like this video. Try to help it get to like a thousand likes so y'all can help somebody else out as well. Now, I'm going to make it short for y'all, and I'm not even going to put no ads in the video as well. So, I mean, y'all double like the video just off that alone, and make sure y'all hit that sub button now. If you haven't seen the first video, you need to watch that one to set it up. It's the one I posted right before this one. I will leave links for it in the description, probably in the comment section as well. Now, you need to have more than one account, more than one my player with the endorsement. You can have up to 10. I currently have two, so I will show you how to do it on two, but you can do it on as many my players as you have. Once you load in the my career, you're going to want to go to your endorsements. Choose your Foot Locker endorsement and attend the event. Once you attend the event, the picture will pop up. Press B or circle on PS4. Then you'll get these three dots. Once these three dots go away, you're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, all you have to do if you have multiple My Players with the endorsement is quit the game. Once you quit out of My Career, you'll go through the loading screen process. You'll load back up into the main menu. Go back to my career and choose a my player you haven't currently attended the event on yet. Now, if I was y'all, I would go ahead and name y'all's uh, my players which 15k endorsement you already have them on, like 15k1, 15k2, so on and so on, up to 10 if you have that many, so you can keep keep up with which ones you've already gotten, which ones you've already done, because that can save you some time. Now we go back to the Foot Locker endorsement, attend the event again. The image is going to pop up. The three dots are going to pop up. You already know when the three dots pop up, you're going to hit OK when it pops up on the screen. Now, since I don't have any more endorsements on any more players, I can go ahead and go hit the Xbox Home button, go to Manage Games and Add-ons, go to Save Data, and delete the save data from the profile that I'm getting the VC on. Make sure you delete from console and don't delete from everywhere. PS4 players, 
if you need to know this stuff just go watch the last video i definitely put it in there for y'all but if y'all already watched it then y'all probably already know so up until now you have 5k on both of those players right now now you can do that two more times on those players on all the players that you have now like i said I only have two players so this time around i'll add another 5k it'll be 10k on both and the third time around i'll add another 5k and it'll be 15k on both and when i go to pick up my checks i'll pick up 15k on both players which will equal to 30,000 vc but don't worry i'm still gonna try to thoroughly explain it just in case some of y'all didn't get it attend the foot locker event close out the picture when the three dots pop up okay you're gonna hit okay when it pops up on the screen then you're gonna quit the game you're not going to dashboard or anything if you have more my players to pick up the endorsement on you know that you haven't done already like i said i only have two i'm only emphasizing that because some of y'all gonna have two three four five six seven eight nine maybe even ten endorsements on these players so then I go to my last one. When you get to your very last my player that you want to pick up the, the endorsement on, that's when you want to close the app or go to uh, application save data management on PS4. That's where you do this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it just because you do it twice. You know, you can do as many my players as you have. So I want to emphasize that because if I was to put up all these my, if I created all these my players and did that 10 times, this video would be an hour long, if not even longer. You know what I'm saying? First of all, the video was way longer than it already was. I just tried to make it shorter so y'all wouldn't have to watch a super long video. And plus, the steps are the same. They're repetitive. So even if you watch the first video, I mean, the steps are relatively the same. But as far as stacking it up, not having to close the app out after every single time, this will speed it up if you have multiple endorsements on multiple my players. So this is the part two that i have for y'all and like i said i'll do it one more time for y'all just so y'all can see that you need to do it you can only do it up to three times every 24 hours on my players that you haven't currently done it on now if you had let's say you had 10 my players and you wanted to get another 15k after you've done all 10 then you'd have to delete one of your my players create a new my player get the whole endorsement over again and then do it three times there that way so i go to get my Foot Locker endorsement i open it up attend the event Three dots on the screen again y'all already know man i'm this is repetition for y'all because the whole glitch is all about repetition you go hit okay you already know i haven't did my second one yet or my other my players so i'm gonna go ahead and quit out no need to uh delete save data just yet so once you uh quit out choose your other my players go through the rest of your my players like i said to get to your very last one only on your very last one will you delete save data or go to application save data management on ps4 very simple very smooth process very easy to run checks up really quickly especially if you need vc for my team especially if you need vc for my players especially if you need vc for who knows what man it's maybe something y'all like to buy a lot of clothes a lot of accessories so i attend my event on my last my player that has the endorsement now i patiently wait well no okay now i can hit okay now i can go to hit the xbox home button go to manage games and add-ons Go to my save data, delete the save data off the, play, the account that I'm playing it on. Delete from console, do not delete from everywhere. I have to emphasize that every single time because if you delete from everywhere, your my player will be gone from the cloud. Now, I'll load back into my 2K19. Now, I can go pick up my checks on both my players. You will see me get 15,000 VC on both my players pretty much at the same time. So, when you're doing this, you're killing maybe not even two, but maybe even more than two birds with one stone because you'll have multiple VC checks waiting on you. And that's nice, man, that's nice. Now I know some of y'all may be worried about getting banned or whatnot. 2K20 about to come out anyways, but I think the people that have gotten banned in the past more so probably went super crazy with the glitch getting like millions and millions or hundreds and hundreds of thousands of VC. Like, I mean, a lot of VC. And I think another red flag that will send it off is if you go to my team and you buy a lot of packs at one time, I mean like millions of VC worth of packs just out of nowhere. I think that is a certified red flag. That's what I'm going to tell y'all what I know so far. That's the trend that I've seen with people getting banned. But there's no set number of how much you could possibly get without getting banned. Some people just don't get banned and some people just do get banned. That's just how it goes sometimes. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I'm at like 80,000 VC right now. So another 15,000 going to put me close to 100,000 VC that quick. Mind you, bro. 
I haven't even been playing 2K like that. So for me just to come on 2K and get a quick 30,000 VC and another 15 from the other day I did part one, man. So that's nearly 50,000 VC right there, bro. And I haven't even been playing 2K. So I can pretty much get VC whenever I want on this game. If I need some VC, I can get it, bro. If I was playing my team still and I had my original accounts, I'd probably be buying lots of packs. But since I don't, I'm not worried about it because I'm not about to restart the whole team from scratch at this point of the year. 2K20 about to come on. I'll just reinvest in that game. You know what I'm saying? I'll be ready to come through with that one. So now I'm going to go pick up my 15K with my other my player. And y'all going to see it's going to go from 80-something 80 some, 80 some thousand to like 90-something thousand. We're going to run this VC up all the way up, man. We're not going to take it easy. It's the end of the year, man. So it's the summer. I know a lot of y'all need VC. I know a lot of y'all, some of y'all just want VC. So, I got to help you all out how I know, man. So, as you can see there, another 15000 Now, if you even paid attention to the dates on the checks, they're a little bit different. One was 49, This was 407. So, y'all know that there are two different my players for sure. And you will definitely know because the check that I'm picking up right now, you're going to see I'm at 96000 I know y'all want to know how to stack up bigger VC checks after 24 hours, so I'm finna show y'all how to do that, and this is part three of the VC glitch. Y'all know I'm the plug, so help me get one, maybe two, three thousand likes, you know what I'm saying? Hit that sub button, y'all know we out here, man. But anyways, today I'm finna show y'all how to stack up bigger VC checks after every 24 hours pretty much gonna show y'all how to stack it up without having to collect the check every day and just let your vc accumulate so you can get hundreds of thousands and one day if you just want to go pick it up you can go pick it up now i want y'all to know on both of the my players that i currently have the vc glitch on i currently already have 15k stacked up so by the end of this video and at the beginning of the video you will see me have an accumulated 30,000 VC check on two my players, which is 60,000 stacking it up. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen part one or part two, I strongly suggest you watch that because then this will help this make even more sense. Now, of course, you want to go to your endorsement, attend the event. Once this picture comes up, hit B on Xbox Circle on PS4. Once those three dots pop up, you will be able to hit OK when they get done going, doing the loading process. Once you hit OK, do not close app. Make sure you just quit out first. Quit out until you go through every my player that you have the VC endorsement check on. But the catch is, if you want to keep stacking it up and get bigger than 15,000 checks, do not go redeem the VC. Wait the next, wait until you actually want to pick the check up after you stacked all your VC up. After you repeat the process for like a week or even longer than a week, the longer you go without picking it up, the bigger the check will be. So I go to my second my player. Mind you, I already had 15,000 before I started doing this today on each my player, just sitting there waiting to be picked up. So then I go to my second my player, I go to my event, I attend the event, the picture pops up. Now, once these three dots go away, the OK is gonna pop up on the screen, you will hit OK. And then, you know, once you go through all the my places, you have only have two. But if you have 10, go through all 10. Then go to manage games and add-ons by hitting the Xbox home button. Um, go to your save data. Delete the save data. PS4 guys on part one. Go watch that. That'll show you how to do this step on part one. You know, so this works on both consoles. I'm letting you know. So delete the save data from console. Do not delete from everywhere you will lose your my players on all the consoles. Now, at this point, I currently have 20,000 VC on 15K my player one and 15K my player two. 20,000 because I just added 5,000. So you could add up to 15,000 a day every 24 hours. So I could do it two more times. So by the time I do it this time for both my players, I will have 25,000 VC. And once I do it a third time, I will have 30,000 VC. Right, y'all feel me? So, if I did it again tomorrow, 24 hours later, I would have 45,000 VC if I waited to pick it up tomorrow. If I waited the day after tomorrow, I would have 60,000 VC. So on and so on. Then it would go up to 75,000 VC, then 90,000 VC, and it will keep stacking up that fast on more than one my player that you have if you do it every day. So you can see. If you keep doing this on multiple my players, 
you will get a lot of VC really quickly and you don't even have to play the game. Exactly. You don't even have to play the game. When is the last time y'all seen me upload some gameplay on this game? But yet, my VC is still stacking up because I know how to get it. I'm trying to help y'all out for the summer. I know y'all want VC to make your new builds, play different builds. I know y'all might get tired of buying, uh, playing with certain builds. I know some of y'all play my team and y'all need that VC to go stack those teams up. I know they drop a lot of good cards in my team, so I know a lot of y'all want to just go crazy with the packs but don't go too crazy because you don't want to get banned but at this point in the game 2k20 is going to come out i know a lot of y'all don't care about getting banned anyways so do what y'all gotta do you know now if you're not gonna get 2k20 upon release you might care about getting banned but you can see we back in here finna get this vc back to the foot locker we're doing it three times in a row you know i'm gonna show y'all the whole nine yards part three now, if y'all want me to put part one, part two, and part three in one video, y'all can watch the whole thing. I'll do that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to do that for y'all anyways, just so y'all can have one video y'all can reference. And I'll split it up in a certain part so y'all know which part we at at all times. So, I'm going to quit out. I'm on my third time. I quit out. Go back to the main menu. I'm going to go to my next my player. Keep in mind, I only have it on two my players. I'm just emphasizing that because I want y'all to know y'all can do it on as many my players as you're allowed to create. As many my players as you have the endorsement on, you can do it. You can do it. And you can do it. If you have more than one endorsement, click all the endorsements. Open up all the endorsements. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to attend the event. This is my last go around right here. Wait till the three dots go away and okay pops up. It's it's great, man. This is a very easy, repetitive process. Hit okay, okay. I went through all my my players. So I go to the, hit the Xbox home button, manage games and add ons. Go to my save data, you know, delete the save data from console, not for everywhere. I'm going to emphasize that every single time. Now I'm gonna load back into my game, you know what I'm saying? Now at this point, I'm gonna just let the process ride out. I'm going to let y'all see everything load up and stuff so y'all know that we now know Fugazi, Fufu nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see, get the 30,000 on both of these my players, so that's 60,000 VC. Super quick, super early, and if I want to get more VC right now, I can go create more players with the with the uh, Foot Locker endorsement and go get more another 15,000 on like 8 more players, or 7 more players at least, because I know my uh, main player, some of y'all got a main player already and y'all endorsement might be gone until y'all get a new one. So I'm just giving y'all a free game out here, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to take advantage. I want y'all to take advantage while y'all can. I mean, this glitch is never going to be patched. This glitch has been in the game since day one. This glitch has evolved, you know? There used to be easier ways to do it, but they tried to patch those ways, and it's still in the game. So don't y'all worry about it, bro. This glitch is not going to be going anywhere no time soon. So now I loaded up my first my player. I'm going to go pick up my check. Y'all will see 30,000 VC. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, y'all can always get more if you want to keep doing the glitch. Now, like I said, you don't have to pick it up when you get 30,000. You could do it the next day or pick it up whenever you're ready. But you don't have to pick it up every day and waste time going to go pick it up if you're just trying to stack your VC up till you get a certain amount. You know, you might want a certain pack or something in my team. Okay. All right. You might have 100 some thousand on this my player or 100 some thousand on multiple my players. And when they drop some new packs or something, you can just go redeem one of your my players and then go buy a whole box of packs, you know? And to be real with y'all, this is the most efficient way to do it. Now, there's nothing wrong with picking up your VC every day if that's what you want to do. Um, that might be best because if you start just picking up like way too much VC in one day, that might send the flag out to 2K. So it might be best if you pick up like, you know, 30,000. 45,000 don't just be picking up like hundreds of thousands of VC on like 10 mile players at once that'll probably send a huge red flag out but I mean I know some people are already doing that and you know like I said there's no real criteria of what gets people banned but I have heard that um going in my team and spending lots of VC maybe sending out a red flag and stuff like that but we don't know we don't have a list of exactly the threshold it takes, the amount of VC it takes, but we all know if you just go ridiculously crazy, bro, like you just get millions and millions of VC every day, or or hundreds of thousands of VC every like 10 minutes or something, you know, that might be a big flag, bro. 2K ain't slow over here, but you know, we all gotta take advantage. So I'm on my second my player. Hopefully, y'all have like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10 
And you know, that's 15,000 per mile player a day. If you do the math on that, man, that's about 150,000 easy. And the amount of time it takes after you already have the endorsement is nothing. Do you know how long it will take you to earn 150,000 VC playing in the park or playing my career games? You will be on that game forever. Forever. This is why I'm here, man. Because y'all know I got y'all. I'm going to keep y'all plugged in at all times, bro. You can legitimately get like a million VC in a week. In a week, you know what I'm saying? You can get a million VC in a week doing this, bro. That's crazy. That's a lot. Just consistently. It doesn't even take long to do. Y'all see this video right here, bro. All you got to do is wait on the loading screens to get done and you chilling. And then, you know, you do it once a day. You keep a nice little routine, bro. You can easily get over a million VC in a week. Not hard at all. I know a lot of y'all going to take advantage. And y'all can peep out my VC, man. I got 157,000 right now, man. 157,000. I'm only doing this on two my players to show y'all. I'm not even doing it just to get VC, and I have 157,000. But, anyways, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, turn notifications on. Until next time, man, Disky out.